In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crown molding go up a gable end wall. And hopefully this is an easy method. Let me just go ahead and I, I've got my room here. I'm going to go ahead and set my end walls. By the way, this is my edit menu kind of floating in the middle here. I'm going to go ahead and use that change to gable walls. There we go. And then I'm going to select this room. I'm going to go ahead and open this room up. I'm going to uncheck use floor defaults in the moldings panel and add a new uh, molding. I'm just going to do CM06 maybe. CM is a prefix for all chief architects crown moldings. So there we go. We've added that crown molding. And then with the room still selected, I'm going to say that I'm going to turn off the ceiling and then I'm going to convert and make room molding polyline. Scroll down till I get to my crown molding. There we go. Now we've produced the crown molding in this room. Let's go ahead and pull a cross section view. And with moldings turned on, hopefully we should be able to see this molding. I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to hit L on my keyboard and then draw up a line, snap from the front edge of this crown molding profile up to my gypsum drywall, and then hit tab or enter and copy this. All right now that I've got that copied, should be able to grab my molding right here, use transform replicate, paste this into the Z delta. That's going to raise that so that front edge there is lined up. Now it looks like it could actually move just a little bit, right? So maybe it's that I take this crown molding one more time. Let's see if I can actually do a point to point. Is that going to let me do it? Yes, it does, right? So that actually worked out quite well. The next part of this is we've got to make some breaks in this profile. So I'm going to use the break tool, add a break here, and use the break tool, add a break over here. And that second break can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Um, sometimes it just doesn't want to do what you want it to do. So it's not going to add that break at times. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and drag that break over so that I can use it here to snap this molding profile up to that ridge line. And then let's see if I can use that break over here. See if it commits. It did. So now I get to take this second break. And this is the real trick is I get to drag this down and pop it right to the front face molding profile. What does this do? This is creating a mitered return on our gable end wall that we can then miter to again to have it follow up that gable end wall. Right? So that's that's the proper way to do this particular crown molding. So we do have to add another break on this other side. Kind of same thing. Drag this down and that's it. It's as simple as that. You're going to do this on the other side of the room as well. Let's take a look at what this looks like in 3D. Here we go. Let's just do a nice little rendering mode with a line over. And let's just kick off room light. That room light didn't work. Did it? Still doesn't work. Look at that little detail right there. That's the detail we're looking for. It's this little return and then it kicks up the wall and notice that the profiles all mitered together. Pitch of that profile didn't need to change at all. This is this is how you would actually do this in the field. Perfect. Um, this is how you would do it in the field if you had a um, someone that was doing the trim and was willing to shave the back end of this front face profile. Otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of a gap there. So a little bit of a costly detail, uh, if you ask me, but sometimes Sometimes you need those details. So hopefully that helped you out.